After the Paleo Indians uh, hunted out all the big animals, the mammoths, the mastodons, the bears, and the cats, they really didn't have a need for the large spears, uh, which were mostly throwing or thrusting and you lost your weapon, you didn't have multiple shots. There was also a lot more smaller game abundant now at this time, since all the forests and the ecosystem had kind of changed out a little bit. Um, so we go to a tool or a hunting weapon called the atlatl. Instead of carrying around one big spear, now you had a handful of darts that gave a primitive hunter a, a bunch of shots at lots of smaller, faster animals and everything. Um, with that being said, um, there's not a lot to an atlatl dart. It's uh, a lot smaller than a spear, but a lot bigger than an arrow. And we call them darts because that's just the kind of the collective word that's always kind of stuck with them. Part of the country or the world, this was a worldwide tool right here. Um, this has got me a couple of little finger loops in there, so when I get real happy and I'm throwing my atlatl dart, it just doesn't come out of my hand. It's also just a way to hold it if you're working with something else. Um, and then this little thing right here that looks like the Mickey Mouse ears, that's called a banner stone. It wasn't on all atlatl throwers, uh, and it's not really super necessary. Um, it might add a little bit more weight out here on the end, like a counterbalance when you, when you throw this, so it could give you a little more uh, uh, velocity. And uh, they could be lots of different sizes. Here's one like uh, found in a cave in France. Um, like I said, worldwide technology, and that's nothing more than a big smoky quartz crystal tied on there too. So, how does this atlatl get thrown? Well, instead of an arrow having a groove in the back of it that goes onto the bowstring, an atlatl has a small little depression in the back here, and that allows that antler tine tip to just nestle in there just a little bit, and that kind of secures itself, and it's real firm in there. But it also doesn't go in there really, really deep where it would get stuck together and kind of not get thrown off your atlatl and tear your stuff up and everything, of course. So there's our, our atlatl dart. There's a little hole, little dimple thing in the back right there. And that gets set up like that. So to load your atlatl, there you would go right there. And then you would just take this, lean back, and throw your atlatl dart. What this does is it gives you a lot longer arm. So all of a sudden, instead of being like a little T-Rex throwing a spear, now you've got this long mechanical advantage and you can throw a dart a lot further and faster than you could if you had just used your hand or your arm to throw a dart then.